Hi everyone, this is Sherry from Planning Peep and welcome back to my channel. Today I am finally sitting down and planning my Thanksgiving week, which basically was like a lifetime ago, um, but I do still wanna plan these weeks because I really like being able to journal and document my life. Um, so for this week, I have a beautiful kit from Nikki Plus Three. This is gonna be my Thanksgiving kit. And um, her kits always come with a set of the date dots and weekend banner, which is perfect. I always save these and end up pulling them in for future spreads. Um, so I really like that she includes that. We've got the full boxes and some quarter boxes, half boxes, deco pieces, some tech stickers, washi strips, and some flags. This next page is all the headers, the um, bow checklists. We've got more half, or I'm sorry, quarter boxes, some bill due and appointment stickers, and then the bottom washi, which is so shiny and beautiful. Oh my goodness. We've got the date covers, Monday through Sunday box, and some more quarter boxes here at the bottom. So I love that her kits come with so many boxes. Those are so functional for me. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get started. I do wanna mention that I have changed my um, filming setup so that my camera is not like attached to my desk. So hopefully that helps and um, prevents some of that shaking that was going on in my last video for those of you who watched. Um, so hopefully this setup works out. And yeah, let's now start by placing down the bottom washi. For my bottom washi this week, I decided to use both of the strips that were in the kit. For some reason, this longer strip was a bit too long for my recollections. I think maybe I didn't line it up correctly, but I ended up just trimming off like the part that was sticking out on the right hand side. And the tool that I'm using is the Slice Precision Cutter. I got that one off of Amazon, but I think they do sell it at some stores, so um, you might be able to find it in person. I go ahead and place down the bottom washi on the other side and I did the same thing by layering that thinner strip on top of the thicker one so that they could both fit nicely in that section and then I go ahead and move to my sidebar. For my sidebar this week, as usual, I placed down the quote box in the top corner. And this week, the quote box says pumpkins, hay rides, apple cider, bonfires, falling leaves, s'mores, and sweaters. And those are all the best parts of fall. Um, we're definitely nowhere near fall right now, but um, as you know, I'm pretty behind, so just slowly catching up as usual. I then go ahead and continue to build my sidebar. I used a strip of washi with the this week header from this kit, and then I I used a habit tracker to track my working out. That workout script sticker is from Right Brain Paper Co. And then I placed down a quarter box with a happy moment sticker in my writing that's from Planner Just For You. And that heart sticker came with the kit. I then cut up two of the bow checklists to create um, my happy moments list. And that's when I realized that I had a lot more space left in my sidebar. So I go ahead and lift up all these stickers and just space them out a little bit more. Um, and that way I could take up more space in my sidebar. Um, at the very bottom, I used the Monday through Sunday box to track my dinners. And that dinners header I put down is from Planner Just For You, again, in my writing. And then I used some of the deco pieces in the kit um, just as like icons and and just to decorate the very bottom. Once I'm done with that, I go ahead and place down all of the date covers, um, and these ones are the ones that came with the kit, and I also use the date dots that came in the kit as well. Um, like I said in my intro, I really love these date dots. I always save them for future spreads, so I don't have to buy them quite as often. Moving to Monday, I first placed down one of those olive green headers at the very top, and then I wanted to mark that Monday was Thanksgiving break, which is always very needed by the time it comes around, because usually November is like really, really busy for me at work. Um, so I mark Thanksgiving break in that quarter box that I placed down, and then um, we were in escrow to purchase a home at this point, um, so I did have to call around to figure out like loan stuff for the house. Oh my gosh, there was like so much adulting involved, it was insane. That phone sticker is from my leftover stash so I'm not sure which shop that's from but the nail polish sticker I just placed down is from Lemon Paper Co. I don't know if she's still open. I know she had like reopened at some point but I'm not sure if she is still right now. I then placed down a full box to cover up that gray header and then underneath that I used a half box and I placed down a flag from the kit just to add a little something to that box and um, I also used a shoe sticker that is from Planning Like a Pro and I used that to mark taking a walk around the lake with some of my friends. It was like really beautiful because we went during sunset. So yeah, that was definitely a great way to start my break. Um, then underneath that I used a quarter box with a camera icon. I believe that one is 
is from Paper Muse Crafts. I use that to mark filming that night. And then I pretty much just had a lazy night. So I found this really cute Stay Cozy sticker that is from what used to be Regina Laughs. She is Miss and Meow now. And it was part of her fall bucket list sticker sheet. I added a little foiled deco piece and that's from Simply Said Life. And um, then I go ahead and move to Tuesday. On Tuesday, I first placed down a full box at the very top. Then I used a pencil sticker from Samantha May Sticks to mark that we had some house paperwork that we had to sort through. And then Tuesday was a really hard day. Our sweet cat Pokey had a seizure and um, it was the first seizure that we've ever witnessed her having. We didn't know if she had any before that we just weren't aware of, but it was really scary and um, really heartbreaking to see her going through that. Um, luckily, she came out of it and was totally fine. But like I said, it was just really scary when it happened. That pretty much marked the start of our cat's like medical needs, um, which is another reason why I've been kind of absent from planning recently. Um, but anyways, I had to run some errands. So I go ahead and mark that with a bow checklist. That grocery icon is from Hazel Sticker and that car one is from GT Girls designs and then at the end of the night I went and grabbed some boba with some friends it was good to see them and kind of talk to them after the difficult day that I had and the boba sticker is from paper and milk on Wednesday, I started by placing down a today header at the very top. Um, then I used a flag from the kit to mark that we had a lot of paperwork and stuff to do for our home loan. Um, and then we took Pokey to her vet appointment to check out what's going on. That cat sticker is from Dizzy Daisy Dreams. It's super cute. And then we got some good and bad news. The good news was that everything they could check for came out just fine. So she's like essentially really healthy. But on the flip side, that's also kind of bad news because um, that means it might be something in her brain, which kind of leads to a whole nother thing. Um, I'm not going to elaborate because obviously it's like pretty complicated, but the emoji sticker that I put down is from the Coffee Monsters Co. I put down a to-do header with a half box and that Thai food sticker is from Hazel Sticker. I went over to a friend's place that night. Um, we had planned this out like way in advance. We wanted to teach each other how to make like different Thai dishes. So I did that. And then at the end of the night, I watched Taylor Swift's Folklore concert that was released on Disney Plus. It's so good. Folklore is for sure my favorite album of hers. It's so amazing. Um, and that bow sticker is from Clever Gal Crafts. I forgot to mention earlier, but I did place down that full box at the very bottom of Wednesday. And now I'm just moving on to Thursday, which was Thanksgiving here in the United States. Um, to mark that, I used a half box and that pumpkin sticker came with the kit. The happy Thanksgiving sticker is in my writing from Planner Just For You. It's part of our holiday sheet, which is really awesome because you get like a ton of different holiday stickers. And then I also pulled in this foiled deco piece from Simply Said Life. I then placed down a full box in the middle of the day and then in that remaining white space I used a flag from the kit with this like phone icon. I believe that's from Paper Muse Crafts and I used that to mark doing a family zoom with my boyfriend's family. Um, we usually get together every Thanksgiving so it was definitely really hard to spend this one without them but obviously to be safe we decided not to get together in person since we have quite a few older family members. Underneath the full box, I placed down a header and used a three bow checklist to mark some things I did that day. The boba sticker is from Hazel Sticker. And then at the very bottom, I wanted to mark doing Friendsgiving at her friend's place. So I placed down that scallop label from Panda Bird Designs and the turkey is from Hazel Sticker. I added a few deco pieces around the turkey and those are also from Hazel Sticker. And then I realized I accidentally smeared my writing. So I just whited out the parts that were smeared and rewrote on top of that. Moving on to Friday, I first placed down a full box at the very top. Then I used a half box to mark that it was Black Friday. I have these um, foiled holiday scripts from Chic Blossom Prints. So I go ahead and place that down. And then I use this sticker icon from Hazel Sticker to mark that I purchased a ton of stickers over Black Friday. I pretty much just had a lazy day, so I used an arrow from the kit with this lazy day icon from Miss and Meow. It was part of that same fall sampler sheet that I mentioned earlier. And then that afternoon, I did a ton of report writing for work, so I used a half box, or I'm sorry, a quarter box to mark that. That laptop sticker is from Right Brain Paper Co. 
I recorded a voiceover that evening and I used this foiled microphone icon. I believe that is from Planning Like a Pro. And then I started playing Stardew Valley again. It's like this little farming, like role-playing game, I think is what they're called, but it's like super cute and really addicting. So I ended up spending a ton of time doing that. At the end of the night, I had some hot cocoa, which I marked using a quarter box. And this coffee sticker is from Hazel Sticker. On Saturday, I first placed down a full box at the very bottom, and then I decided to just go ahead and place down the full box that I wanted to use on Sunday. And then for the top of Saturday, I started by using a today header, um, and I pretty much just slept in that morning. It was super lazy, so I used the sleeping mask sticker from Artbox stickers to mark that. I then had a call with my friend, so I marked that using a flag sticker from the kit, and that phone icon, I believe, is from Planning Like a Pro. I then decided to place down some boxes and stickers that I already knew I wanted to use for the remainder of the day. And then moving back towards the top of the day, I did some cleaning. So I used this cleaning day sticker in my writing. Again, that's from Planner Just For You. And then I pulled in these glove stickers, but they were purchased so long ago, like probably when I first started planning. So I don't really remember which shop that's from. This post-it sticker is from Hazel Sticker. And I also pulled in a dice sticker from her shop to mark that we played um, the second day of this pandemic legacy game that we were doing with our friends. Um, and then on the quarter box, I wanted to mark responding to YouTube comments. Um, that YouTube sticker is from, I believe it's from the Pretty Pink Co. On Sunday, I first placed down a quarter box at the very top and I just wanted to mark sleeping in again because um, I was just like relishing these last few days of Thanksgiving break. That heart sticker came in the kit and then I wanted to mark that I had some hot cocoa that day. Um, that icon is from Miss and Meow, again, part of that one sampler sheet. And I also pulled in some foiled deco from Simply Said Life. After placing down the quarter box, I decided to move up the full box a little bit so that there wasn't that awkward space in between. And um, the pencil sticker I pulled in is from Hazel Sticker. Underneath the full box, I used a half box to mark that I went and got some groceries over at Costco. Um, and then I also went to Target that day. I think I was just like stocking up for um, the work week coming up. And to mark going to Target, I used this arrow sticker from the kit and this foil tech sticker is from Station Stickers. At the end of the night, I just played more Stardew Valley and relaxed. So I decided to use a sleeping mask sticker from White Deer Stationery to mark that. And that pretty much concludes my Thanksgiving week. As always, the last thing that I do is moving back to my sidebar to track my workouts, my happy moments, and my dinners. For this week, I really only worked out on Monday when I took a walk with my friends. Um, so I decided to pull in this bow icon from Chic Chic Designs to mark that. And now I'm just showing you these stickers that I have left in this kit. I usually am able to use quite a lot of stickers from Nikki Plus 3 kits, which I love. Um, her formats honestly just work so well for my planning style. Um, so I always love using her kits. And now now I'm just doing a vid wiggle so you guys can see all the foiling in this kit. It is so shiny and so pretty. I absolutely love how this turned out. I think this gold foil worked so perfectly with the colors of this kit. I love how bright those like oranges and reds and yellows are um, just like so perfect for fall. So anyways, I'm really glad I used this for my Thanksgiving week and I'm just doing a quick walkthrough so you guys can see the spread up close and that is pretty much it for this week. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. Please let me know what you guys think. Um, I really hope that the filming setup has been much better this time around. Um, I definitely noticed way less shaking when I was editing, so hopefully that works for you guys as well. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and for hanging with me while I'm catching up. I hope you guys are doing well and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.